One way to work around with diagram is to use a blank uh, work area like this. And if you want to go around and then uh, uh, let's say, for example, quickly get started around uh, with a pre-made element uh, like a template, then you can go around onto the file menu right here. And then you can go around over here and click on new as well. Once you start up the application, you get uh, access to the same option as well. So once this is done, you can go around and click on create new diagram. And here you can see you have access to different, uh, uh, let's say, a pre, uh, uh, like uh, let's say templates right here, like maps, as you can see, like wireframes, as you can see right here, like layouts and so forth. So if you want to add in flowcharts, charts or businesses right here, you can see different layouts are already available. So you can go around onto basic and there's the different basic diagrams, there's network diagrams, there's cloud diagrams, as you can see right here. So let's just go around onto business and let's just go around and select out this template right here. You can also add in a template from a template URL as well. But I'm just going to go around and select this option as well and click on create. And you can see that another diagram file opens up and here there are elements right here and this is a template as you can see right here with pre-made designs right here all you need to do is make adjustments to it and that's it so that is how you can go around and utilize di um, diagram templates in diagrams.net to quickly get started with designing as well so i hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe